kaze nanone mu kiganiro cyacu cy'uyu munsi mu gice cyacu cya kabiri gice cyacu cya mbere kirarangiye tujye mu gice cya kabiri mu gice rero muraza konyemerera duhindura rurimi tujye mu cyongereza yego bitewe n'iki hari impamvu nk'imwe ikomeye cyane nuko abantu turi kumwe hano muri studio uyu munsi byumwe hariko ari abantu bavuga rurimi rw'icyongereza mu nyemerere rero ariko ntago ndi mubicisha rungu ndaza kugerageza buryo ki ibyo tuganiriye mbigaruba mu kinyarwanda Rwanda kugira ngo namwe muwe mu gukurikirana mutumva ikinyarwanda turusheho kugenda neza cyane tugiye kuganira kuki tugiye kuganira ku ngingo yitwa kwita ku busitani eh ubusitani you people mu rugo in your homes mufite gardens mufite imurikari mufite ubusitani bumeze neza ubusitani bwanyu kubwitaho ugomba kwitabwaho gute what are the procedures of taking care of your garden what should your garden look like first of all ibyo byose turaje tumeye mu kiganiro ndi kumwe n'inzobere rero ziri mu kiganiro abavuye muri leta zunze ubumwe za America abandi na ba respect muza mahanga international architects in as far as land surveying is concerned you're going to enjoy this show first of all i'm hosting you sir welcome to this show thank you what's your name my name is Kirkwood Hale mm -hmm. And I come from California. California, United yes. States. Yes. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Uh, an architect. I'm a landscape architect. Mm -hmm. I studied at a university in uh, Central California many, many years ago. <laughs> I've been in this uh, profession since then, since the uh, be basically the 1980s. And uh, uh, we visited here, we lived here uh, eight years ago for two years and uh, have come back to visit and seen the amazing changes. Eight years ago. That means years you know ago. Rwanda before it's Rwanda today. Yes. Uh, you have to tell us a lot how far as land surveying is concerned for these eight years. I will see it with someone else. <laughs> yes, yeah. this is my... I'm Akora. Uh, uh, you tell us the names. My name is Donna and uh, when I was here, I worked a little bit at Green Hills Academy and uh, worked at a what they called African Bagel Company, and now it's Jay Lynn's Bakery for two years. But I've gone back, and I'm an educator mm. uh, in Northern California. Well, welcome States. to Thank the show. You. I mean, Thank you. feel like home in Rwanda. Yeah, yes, I good love it. Country, smart one, clean. Beautiful. Uh, how did you find the, 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 the landscapes in Rwanda? Beautiful. Beautiful. Yes, we you were told you? that the mm -hmm. land of a thousand hills, mm -hmm. we must come and visit, and we have come. And You'll have to I, tell us a lot, because we're having a lot of time in yes. this show. Welcome, sir. What's your name? Um, my name is uh, Jack Mugo. I'm yes. Kenyan. I'm a landscape architect by profession. Um, and I've been in this country, in Rwanda, for close to seven years now. Um, I have... I practiced landscape architecture for um, nine years now uh, in Kenya, in Rwanda, in um, Uganda, in uh, DRC, Democratic Republic of Congo. Mm -hmm. um, basically, these are the countries where I've done projects. So I must say that um, I've practiced landscape architecture in, in, in East Africa. I too must say you're very important for this show today. Welcome <laughs> once again. Yes, Muko Mumaze Kujumba, Nava Nubata Tutuja Kugani, Uambere Abib Gie, Arab Gieko, Arum Atuka, Mulieta Zuzumez, America, Mujua, California. Yes, Abamui, California, Yabjiz, Mui Kaminuz, Abimazin Yaka, Guera Mui, nineteen eighty, Guera Mujuma Gachenda, Milongunani, back in the eighties. Can you imagine uh, that span of years in the same field? Eh, hey, hey, Raza Kujo, we must. It's going to be very wonderful. To the Kumera no ne numu mama hano na we are to give at two ero Jenaba Yomu Rwanda Mumia Kumunani at Ambute Nihano Mujugu Rwanda and Mazakuna Jishi Kujani Rubutes in the Rubusitani Ababan Rero Bako Rusitan by Kumanu Mashtekia Wenu Munya Kenya and Tunasema Kariboni. Yes, yes, we munya tinyava mbatura nyivatu hariya kwa muzei chinyata e hanyuma ari hano mustu do now mumu are stekte wakome chani kuko yakoze mu rugo muko mwabyumvishe Uganda Tanzania DRC na handa yimutubwire yes waje ubiryoherwe uyu munsi reka dutangire ikiganiro cyacu what is land surveying well, skipping all that yes landscape uh, architecture landscape design is is basically basically the design of outdoor spaces 
and how they interact with uh, architecture, with buildings, uh, with people, and the natural environment. Does is it is it really important uh, to have uh, landscaping in an, in, a, in a growing uh, city or in a growing com country where urbanization is booming? Absolutely. Why? <laughs> uh, what can happen in a city as it gets denser in population and more buildings go up and uh, it can become, I think, a, a very built environment without any kind of green, any kind of plant life. And obviously plants provide oxygen, but also beauty. Um, and outdoor spaces within the, the building spaces can be designed and become a beautiful place and a, and a restful and relaxing place. It's very, very important for city life. Uh, Mr. Mugo, you're a bit familiar with the region uh, yes. in as far as uh, the, the temperatures, uh, in as far as uh, the, the landscapes, the topography. Uh, how can you really summarize uh, the landscaping in this region we, we, we're in? Um, we are in a region that is immensely blessed with a very good climate. So, um, uh, as opposed to other parts of the world, we do not uh, put too much resources into uh, maintaining uh, uh, the plant materials that we have. We have uh, a diverse uh, choice of plants that we use, both ornamental and indigenous plants. And we also have a good climate. So um, in as much as uh, we want this organization, we, we are much better placed than maybe in other parts of the world. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's Great. Those are samples of, 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 of the scaping we're trying to, to, to show, mm -hmm. though I don't really <laughs> know whether it, it, it really could be mm -hmm. look like that. You experts can tell us. Does that shape like, is that really a, a landscaping uh, situation? Yes, absolutely. And, and I think what we come to uh, in a project, in a site, is looking at the function. What are the different functions are going to take place on mm. the site? Mm. And then designing according to that and using plants to uh, add and to really help that design. Yeah, most, most of the people here uh, in Rwanda really uh, who are involved uh, in this practice of uh, landscaping uh, do this, uh, should I call it, in an analog way. Mm. In an analog way. Uh, Tell us uh, how, how technology is really uh, integrated into the, the landscaping to make it a very uh, prosper, prosper, prosperous perspective. Well, I think actually Jack could probably answer a little bit more yeah. um, about that here. Um, from the slide that we have just seen, mm -hmm. um, it's one of the things that you realize, um, not just limited to Rwanda, but in the East African region, uh, people basically think of landscaping as just um, uh, an afterthought. Mm -hmm. It's something that comes uh, at the end. It's not something that you think about mm -hmm. when you are starting a project. Mm -hmm. uh, another thing is the use of plant materials. Uh, you see a landscape architect uses plants the same way uh, an engineer or an architect using walls to define spaces or, uh, you know, to define spaces and to do other things. Yeah? So, uh, a landscape architect will use plants, and it's there a very ideal for uh, uh, to have a professional come and think of how you will organize these plants, mm -hmm. and so that you can come up with a composition that is functional, and as he said, aesthetically, you know, appealing. So, um, landscaping is not, it, it serves many different functions. It's both um, um, 
uh, aesthetic functions, you have environmental functions, and you know also defining spaces. Yeah. Yeah. So it's good that um, all these factors are taken into consideration, and it should uh, be an integral part mm -hmm. in every in the built environment, yes. basically. Uh, uh, do, do you have plans, um, Madam Sarah, of coming in Rwanda to set up something big you know, as far as uh, this is concerned? Well, it is amazing to think about coming back and seeing the change. It's been beautiful to see uh, the intention, the purposeful built buildings. Uh, and we've seen and we've heard about the wedding uh, venues, places where you can go and have these beautiful weddings. And so we have been thinking about a place not just for weddings, but a place, a destination to come and see an example, samples of, a, of how different areas can be set up in your own garden, but like a, nur a larger nursery. Um, where people can come and see, oh, I like those plants together. I see what you can do. And then with that, we're thinking that it would be nice to have a coffee shop or something where people can come and enjoy an afternoon or a, um, a sandwich or some salad, something to eat with, with the, the nursery experience. When we lived in Scotland, in the UK, um, there were places like this where you would go to a plant nursery and you'd have time to look at plants but also to... Um, to enjoy a cup of tea. Now Rwanda is targeting uh, to restore 20 million, no, 2 million hectares of diversity forest by 2020, almost next year. Yeah, today is 2019, right? Mm -hmm. Then next year is 2020. 2 million hectares of land uh, to be uh, uh, restored mm -hmm. uh, in response to population growth and their need to fuel the, the results uh, which come from forest destruction. Uh, let, let, us, let us have uh, this very, very brief, brief interview, it was during a forum, a while by, uh, mm -hmm. okay. We'll talk of the greenhouses uh, later, uh, you know, green uh, infrastructures, uh, the importance of green infrastructures. Mm -hmm. Actually, I, I recently saw uh, buildings in China whereby uh, a scraper, tall skyscraper, it's almost like a tree standing because they have planted some green, uh, uh, anyway, we'll yes. be about that. <laughs> yes. 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 Yes, abo ni bamwe mu bitabiriye inama yari iri bibera hano mu Rwanda irimo igaruka kubijyanye no kwita kubijyanye no gusitane bari mu bavuga ko amabanki atabyumva neza bari mu bavuga ko akwiye uburyo private sector ishobora kubyinjiramo and then banks nazo zikabyumva zigatangira ku integrating mu system ukugira ngo bisho kugenda neza landscaping comes with uh, several advantages Mm. Business booming, you know. Yes, kuko iyo hari abantu baraza bakamwa gacyayi bakamenerwa neza cyane environmental preservation eh abantu bakita kuri ibi bakita kuri biriya and no even forgetting creating self love for wildlife. Yes, yeah, the grasshoppers moving in they are enjoy life. Why not? If they do say that's wildlife uh moving side through landscaping in Rwanda uh, has not been yet exploited fully. Yeah, landscaping hasn't been exploited fully. Uh, let me first mm. ask Mr. Mugu, mm, how, how, how can you rate uh, the, the, uh, the, the, the exploitation of, of landscaping in this region? Um, I would say that it has not been fully exploited, but like you have said. Mm. Uh, of course, some areas are maybe doing better than others. And if I would Red Rwanda and Kigali, I would say it's coming out very strongly. Um, we have had programs here that are really 
um, uh, putting a lot of emphasis on, 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 on greening and landscaping, which it's a very positive thing. So uh, recently we have seen authorities even um, uh, putting a lot of emphasis and resources uh, into greening and landscaping. So um, recently, in the recent years, um, even the city of Kigali itself is putting a lot of emphasis on um, the green spaces in, in, in the city, the streetscapes, the plazas, the spaces between buildings, and um, we've seen uh, a lot of effort uh, to try and enhance them. Mm. We've uh, seen plans. Maybe some are still on paper, but we know that it's coming out. So I would say that it's coming out, although it's not where it is ought to be. We have immense resources, like I said earlier. Uh, we have a good climate. We have a wide variety we can choose from. So uh, we, can make, we can make very good... Uh, outdoor spaces here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's how far it is concerned with architects who are doing this business uh, very well. Yeah, Mr. Mugo is one of them. I am going to be from, you know, Nyaka Music and Mwiki, nine years. Ari Mwiki, he knows a lot about this new Mambu. Mwiki, he knows a lot about this new Mambu. Mwiki, he knows a lot about this new Mambu. Mwiki, he knows a lot about this new Mambu. Mwiki, he knows a lot about this new Mambu. Mwiki, he knows a lot about this new Mambu. Mwiki, he knows a lot about this new Mambu. Mwiki, he knows a lot Mm -hmm. They are here to really to respond. Do you even have a job there? These are the people who do that job. Why not? Call them and tell them they have a building, have a hotel, have a plaza, have 80 CIBC. Yes, these people will help you a lot. Zero can you manage that? Can you manage that? To carry can you get that? To carry you do have a gare to gani the kuyinjingo. I was talking about um, the, 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 this forum that happened uh, 2016. I was by those two ladies, that lady and, and this man were really saying uh, banks really don't really uh, integrate themselves in, in, in this private uh, in the private sector of landscaping. Uh, they don't think uh, this is uh, an income generating business. Business. Really, is it really an income generating business in a broader manner that even banks can integrate? Yeah, sir. Absolutely. I think, as Jack said, uh, the, the, this country, the climate here, the ability to grow such a wide variety of plants uh, is incredible. And I think that it is up and coming. I think there is a whole industry that can be exploited in a very, very healthy uh, and growing way. And it's just waiting to for those, happen. For those who did it earlier than Africa has done it, uh, would you like a bit range how much an, a, land survey, a landscaper gets monthly or even so that yeah, for that for that person who is listening says, ah, this is an income that I could even indulge myself into. Uh, if, 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 not, if not a secret. How much did you earn at your first offer during landscaping uh, back in the days? Well, that's a very good question. And it can vary from place to place, from city to city, even in, in the U.S. Um, you know, when I was starting out many years ago, typically you work for a landscape architecture firm. Uh, there are opportunities to continue in that way or to work for yourself. I actually work for myself now and have um, mostly residential projects that, um, again, I charge a design fee anywhere from three or four hundred dollars up to three thousand dollars for one project. It just depends. Um, you know, you mentioned the opportunity for jobs here. Part of what we see as, as, as the opportunity is to begin to provide even a, like a certificate program where there's more training and opportunities um, in this field. I, I actually got to teach when we were here 18 or eight years ago, uh, what was at KIST, uh, which is now University of Rwanda, um, the first students that were graduating with an environmental design uh, degree. So I'll be meeting them actually tomorrow for the first time in six years, so I'm very excited. But there are opportunities um, that are growing with that profession. Umwari mukomeye cyane yigishije no muri kaminuza ikitwa KIST mwabyumvise ikitwa KIST that means 
back back in the days <laughs> ye nyaka nyinshi cyane uri kaminuza y'u Rwanda ku munsi wejo ngazaba arimo no guhura none n'abanyeshuri yigishije kujya ngo baganire mu ishusho nini uburyo bashobora guteza imbere ibijyanye n'ubusitani ubusitani eh haraba no gusuzugura ne haraba no gusuzugura bavuga ngo nta mafaranga ari mu ngese ubu ngiye najya mu busitani there is no money in the landscape mm -hmm. did you hear what mr ian said hey 300 to that's good money. Yes. Reka dukomeze nchiganyo cyacu mu ngo telefone urafunguye ushaka kuduhamagara ukatubwira ukaduha igitekerezo sango stara lu. Allo? Eh ndumva na telefone karimo karachi kaburika we uduhamagaye ugire iya televizion yawe. You can call us when you are so close to your TV because eh that would be spoiling our ears so do us a favor eh yeah we dey you go to amagare share your ideas will be a very very pleasant to receive you le ka bitu ko meza ni kiganiro cyacu ariko mbere yuko mfata ga pose gatoya le ka tubanze turebe kuri ni ni inama yaraye hano mu Rwanda ivuga kuri forest landscaping aho iyi inama nkuko Jessica Rio yabivuze yavuze ko it is an opportunity that we obtain as a region to have this institution operating in Rwanda there is an institution operating in Rwanda which really helps people in the private sector of landscaping where they meet they share ideas we do what this and this and this this is a very good platform is it yes Absolutely. How, how do you think it's important? Well, I think, again, it isn't just about, I, I, I mean, it's about jobs, creating jobs, mm -hmm. which is, of course, important. But I, I really believe that there's a lot of people out there that are passionate about uh, this field and just maybe don't feel confident about, um, you know, even understanding and, and learning plant mm -hmm. identification. Um, and I think we want to create an opportunity for people to, you know, learn plant names and understanding what plants do and how big they can grow and to use them, as Jack talked about, in the landscape um, intentionally um, through design. So I think it's going to create an opportunity for a lot of people to get in touch with things that are in their heart to, uh, to do with passion. And uh, that's the best kind of job, really, to not just do it for yeah. pay but to do it with passion. Mr. Mugo, for that person who really didn't go uh, to school to learn architecture, can you give me him or her a hint of, of ABCs uh, to begin with this, to, for him or her to set up his own beautiful landscaping garden at his or her place just like an internal architectural landscaper uh, can really do? Um, uh, this is for the, like the owner of the property? Say I have I have my small piece of land. Oh, right. I've just constructed my small house in there. But I'm wondering what should I begin? Should I begin with planting before I start building uh, trees? The garden before I start building? Should I really uh, consider this, the the trenches of water or ABCs? What would would it be? Would it look like? Okay. Um. I would. Uh, think about broadly because uh, for a landscape to do well and to thrive mm -hmm. there are different things that you ought to think about mm -hmm. number one is the 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 the, the, the planting medium the okay. kind of soil let me first in, 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 this for them get a pen and a pen yes get a pen and a pen fakuru paproni karamu wani kibi narimu wajishe njewe mwaka tinzu ya anje mfitu butaka mwaka hongo hongo hariko nda chite chile zao ubusitani na ashira mwono ubusitani mweze mwote uyu mwaka kutia kubuso wa anurida mwaka waliko zinia kichenda wamjize mwaka minuza fite nisa asa futuburambi harimu wala tugira icho umumu ya wakora ya yata anje at first so um i was saying that uh, the planting medium mm. you realize that like um in a on in a construction site you will have con uh, uh, construction debris so uh, once you've done you are done with your uh, uh, construction work mm. you'll of course have maram and other stones and construction debris yes. that of need to be stripped or removed yes. and then you put a good volume of soil 
where the plants will grow. Ichamberero, aravuza ti uwa tishanti yawe, harizafe la beto, haramabuye, mibuye, yose beto, ati chamberu fite, nukubanza ukabikura, ukabikura ho. No, no, amara kubikura ho, uga itusasa ho, ubutaka, ubere, ubu ingano yu ubutaka, igomba kujamu handi chimira cha uchiza za moje. Sidiya bimi, after construction of your house, you just get, dig holes there in the stones and whatever just put mm, no you first have to remove this and then yes the second okay the second is about water and watering points yeah um like now you realize like in Rwanda we are in a dry season from now all the way to maybe uh, late September or yeah. October. Mm -hmm. So how will these plants survive? They mm -hmm. need water. So irrigation. you need irrigation. Mm -hmm. In um, currently what we are doing in uh, big projects, we are trying to, to treat and reuse wastewater. Mm -hmm. So you have uh, sewer water treatment for, for, for irrigation. So you treat the wastewater and then uh, you store it and then you connect it to a, an irrigation system. If it's a small residential garden, you can still use utility water or, uh, you know, um, uh, waste water that, you know, is not, that can be used in a garden. Mm. That is about watering. <laughs> Gari chene yako garden ya uchangu mwurima wawe usaneza Usaneza ni gute mwuku gomba kuita ho uka usuchira amazi Mwurja kuto ya mwurja kunini Mwurja ngabari mwurja kunini Mwurja gomba kute chereza mwurja ukoresha amazi Meshi Mr. Mugo harima ya guso waluri ya kubi nuwa kuita ho jinjenzi Uli mwuko lukustani Mwurja ureshu wa kulukustani Mwurja anda we are among the best uh, practitioners in, in as far as because our country is beautiful, you know, yes. beautiful everywhere. You, you know, you meet gardens there, gardens there, gardens, be it public or private. Yes. Even now, people uh, private people are competing with, with the government in, in setting up uh, gardens here and there. Yes. And that really shows uh, uh, that perspective whereby people are really yes. uh, getting into this system. And now, uh, do you have any third? Yeah, yeah, and the third one, of course, yes. I think which is the major one, is about mm. the planting materials. That themselves, the plants. Yes. Um, you realize that mostly uh, in gardens uh, in East African region and uh, in Rwanda, people just want to green it. So you just want uh, to bring grass. Here mostly it's paspalum and you put a hedge around it. So, but if you want to add value to your garden, you need to think about the plants that you want to bring in. Mm -hmm. You have to think about their functions, you have to think about how you are going to maintain them, you have to think about color because a garden can, should not be, you know, it's not, it should not be green or, you know, one color throughout. You want to know how you organize them such that you have a colorful skin throughout the year, you know, you can have this color in this period, you can have this color in this period, and how do you organize them? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so basically plants and planting material is something that you need to sit and think about. Uh, other thing is like um, sometimes people will uh, plant trees that will mess up walls or utilities or maybe they drop too much litter. That is something else that you also need to think about, you want to think about. Uh, another thing is that you want to have plants that maybe uh, do not need intense maintenance. Yeah, so. The siblings, the, 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 from the nursery bed, you don't just bring that, you know, because uh, I mean, Gutera, Augustani, Wawe, Mbuitusani, Jitubone, Chosu, Ushirao. If wind comes and it shakes the leaves, all the leaves, no, you don't have to go that way. Just think big, think wise. Ishaki, Ishasha, Ibinu, Bitandu, Kanyani, Bitibu, Fiti. We've been saying a lot of, uh, not, not even, because, uh, 
It's like coincidence. Tradition. Uh, the neighbor plants A, B, C type of trees, mm -hmm. and the next neighbor A, B, C type of trees, and the next and the next. You find the whole area is having the same kind of trees. And no, no, no policies that you have to plant this and this. It's just a matter of someone's uh, willing. Uh, do you think? Uh, what should be done to develop more, 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 more kind of, 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 of plants? Well, I think, uh, as Jack pointed out, there are, are great opportunities with what we would call plant material, different plants. And, but what has to go along with that is the knowledge. knowledge. Uh, not just what the plant looks like, but knowing the plant. How big will it naturally get? Uh, there are such a variety of plants. For instance, if you have a window and you want to plant something near the window, you can plant a plant that only gets this high, so you don't have to be cutting it back all the time if it wants to be taller. So, like you said, a lot of the trees, you can be very intentional on the trees that you choose. If you want a tree that's only gonna get 30 feet high or something like that, uh, there are trees that, that do that. Instead of planting a tree and not knowing what it's gonna do, and in 10 years, it's way too big for this, for the plant. So it is very important to begin a culture of knowing the plants and knowing what they do and how to use them wisely. Good enough for uh, you taught uh, in KIST. Mm. Uh, do, do, doing the, the course units really, do you have uh, that kind of knowledge where you give to those students so that during that moment they come to the job market, uh, they will be having the, those uh, those. Uh, should I call them elements of, of creating new 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 stuff in the in the, in the sector? Well, um, at the time eight years ago, we didn't have uh, the opportunity within the coursework to do that. But that is on my heart, I think, mm. uh, and of course, Jacks to to come back uh, here and and to begin to establish that opportunity to bring in a level of uh, you know instruction and, and awareness of plants. I teach back in California now, I yeah. teach a plant ID class that learns not just the names of the plants and the people to be able to recognize them, but also, again, how big is it going to get? What are its water requirements? Does it like sun or does it like shade? It's, that's all things that can be learned. Um, and again, with people who are, are interested in, in it, it will be a fun thing. I hope so, I hope so, and really I hope we'll, we'll put some uh, some kind of classroom or something there for those for those who really want to, to learn that in near that coffee shop. Yes. Yeah. That is, well, yeah. that is our hope, and you know, I, I don't know the plants myself. <laughs> yeah. And, and, and someone today could go online and look at Pinterest mm -hmm. and learn about plants, but I think what we've experienced is there's tremendous value in taking the time to understand that body of knowledge. Yeah. And then you can go to a place and offer. Even in our home in California, we had grass. And it's very expensive, and it gets very hot where we are. So we took the grass. That takes more water. It takes a lot. So, so we had to, he took out the grass. And what are you doing taking the grass? But he took out the grass and put in plants, and it's beautiful now. Yeah. And it takes less water. And it's more beautiful. And uh, yeah, so. Nivea yeah. Vugagati, Nichiwa, you come in, and you put on a moon, or Vugatsinzu, or Fashe Ijiti, or Jite, Queen Risha, and just near the window. In a span of two to three years, you find that really same plant you planted at your window is far, 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 far away. That's a very big problem. At if you tell a child to quit the and you want to mind me, so can you hold your cat, hold your cat, hold your cat? What's that? At all, yeah. Mutation is the evil judge. Ah, imuto zinjo mutera. Ne zinjo mutera. Ni budi ubutera. Hawele ubuta kafite. Ni jonera vira jani. Ubuta kafite. Manu tu yuliza muka kanu gato ya kubusita ni tuje na tuwe wa huga. Palm tree. You do have to plant a palm tree. No, you don't have to. Just think bigger. Yeah, think bigger. Bring a new, you know, so that even no, no, you attract him. Hey, yes, he planted. Hey, you planted me. Why did you get me? That's a challenge. Yes, you might even say, Let's get it. 
penetration break have the sip of water and we will be back very shortly and you ma ya kagapose gatoya sine time ni yetu je kugusigira mu gakeye ubuye bakuri sine time hanyuma turagaruka na batumirwa dusoza ikiganiro cyacu cyari kwisango start tv telephone ni zero kandi umwami gatano umunani gatatu kabiri kane gatandatu kabiri mu mwezi wa rayu give us a call we'll be receiving you shortly first enjoy this how do they do it in a movie sector uh, by the way they are from california don't have to tell us about hollywood yes we'll be back we'll be back very shortly irya hano hino ikiganiro ukomeje gukurikira turimo turagenda tuganira ariko tugana ku musozo n'abatumirwa bacu ngiye kubasaba bagira icyo batubwira ku ijambo rya nyuma telefone zo imwe byiri eh imwe byiri niziboneka manodi uzitunzibire tuzakire hanyuma dite tujya mu makuru y'imikino nyuma yuko dusezeye abatumirwa bacu abakunzi be makuru y'imikino sadi abimana araje babwire ibiri mu kuvuga mu makuru y'imikino kuri yo bwinsha amaki arambo yabaje isaha mu yarigice 7:30 pm eh muraza kuba muri the sports Arena. Yes, Makuri Michino, Mumba Gish. But meanwhile, we're going to be having short, short breaking news in the sports environment. But before we go there, we get to the, to the sports uh, arena and whatever. Let us just conclude our show. But before we conclude, I'll ask our visitors here uh, to a little bit elaborate shortly about landscaping the way how we do it can someone design it himself or herself mm. uh, is it a, a talent is it an art does someone go to classes uh, how, how is it done well I, there are uh, potentially a number of approaches for instance back in california i work with a client a client will hire me to do a design um, which I will ask them questions about their likes and dislikes and so I can really customize a design for them so I don't see it as so much I, I see it as a partnership that we're working together to come up with a beautiful space for them mm -hmm. now a lot of people want to do the work themselves or they will hire somebody to um, to plant the plants and do the, the construction um, but again a lot of people um, like to be involved in the process. For those who don't, that's fine too. Um, I think, you know, as Jack said, there's, there's a lot to this profession. Um, even, you know, landscape designers, landscape architects are used for very small gardens, residential gardens, on up to regional designs uh, throughout the country. So a very, very important field. Um, and I think an important um, aspect to daily life. California. How many cities have you uh, really worked in? So that someone if someone goes there, it will be hey, someone designed this one. Yeah. Well, in California. Yes, I've lived in California. I've lived in San Francisco San and Francisco. the whole Bay Area. There, we yeah. live up in Northern California now, called Redding. I do projects there. Mm -hmm. I've actually lived in Hong Kong and did p bigger projects there. See, uh, we lived in Scotland for eight years and. Uh, was involved with over 200 uh, gardens there. Um, so I've had a lot of experience. Great opportunities and experience. Yeah, you know, he designed in Hong Kong. Yeah. <laughs> yes, in. He designed in Hong Kong. He has more than 200 gardens where we do go on course. Yeah, this, California, San Francisco. These people have experience, Mr. Moon. <laughs> uh, how, 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 how would you uh, like uh, describe uh, technology in landscaping in a very brief uh, way? Um, landscape, uh, okay, let me start with landscape architecture. I'll say that it's an art and it's a science. Uh, there's a whole lot of thing that goes on um, in terms scientifically that you have to have facts and know and know how they relate and there is also the artistic aspect mm. because um, there is a whole design issue that um, comes from an idea that you have 
and you know how you do it to have a certain uh, outcome. So it's an art and it's a science. And recently there have been um, uh, uh, advancements in technology in how people uh, communicate their ideas. So, um, for instance, uh, Kak and I, we are, we are strong believers and we practice uh, what we call uh, sketching before we even think of uh, uh, using uh, computers and other tools uh, to present our work. Yeah. So me, when I do a design, I will sit on a table, on a drawing table or with a sketch pad and do a whole lot of sketching and, and drawing and rebuild and move things uh, uh, before I even think of going to, into a, onto a computer. Mm. Going onto a computer is a whole uh, different thing mm. because uh, uh, for some projects, you cannot uh, present on a piece of paper. Yeah. So we use softwares. Yeah. Uh, uh, we do a, a 2D line work um, a drawing. Uh, and then from there you can model it and do a 3D render whereby people will see it uh, uh, in terms, it's like a picture, where it, how it will look like mm -hmm. in the end. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's a it's a it's a it's it's not an it's a process. Mm. It's something that takes time, and it originates from somewhere, and then it evolves. Mm. And like Kirk said, um, it starts with identifying a need and the clients knowing that they have a need, and then you know how you 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 come up with ideas on how you are going to solve that problem. Yes. Ah, uh, I just want to say that I'm very grateful. I'm going to show you how to make a business. I'm going to show you how to make a business. I'm going to show you how to make a business. I'm going to show you how to make a business. I'm going to show you how to make a business. I'm going to show you how to make a business. I'm going to show you how to make a business. I'm going to show you how to make a of course has to be having a lot of designs in as far as landscaping is concerned. These are the same people who have chances to and opportunities to do that. Yes, call us, call us, call us, give us a call, share ideas, we are winding. We're going to hurry to Yes, hello? Yes, hello? Yes, hello? 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 Hello?
Yes, uh, he was telling us. Uh, did you see that clip of the gardens? Well, he yes. was like, "Hey, those are my gardens. Yeah, those are my gardens. I've seen you. I've seen you. That, those are my gardens. Please tell them any time at time to come visit me. These gardens grow now. And they're very, very good. I will tell you how I do it. I will tell you ABCs. That's what he's been oh, telling. We have a lot. You just, can you imagine even <laughs> someone has recognized that clip? Yeah. And he's like, yes, yes, that's me. That's yeah. me. Yes, we can move on to the phone. We tell you so that now we talk about you. If you want to get to the zoo, yes. But if you miss him, you need to move on. You just need to understand. If you want to reach out to him, you can go to the zoo. You need to understand. You need to understand. You need to understand. Yes, hello. Yes, hello. Yes, Numba, Numba, Namu, Muje, Kadusoze, Kadusoze. One final word, and we round up with this show. Uh, your platform. Your last word to the audience. <laughs> yeah, uh, your future plans. What are you bringing to them? What do you want from them? Why did you come here? Yes, all that as you wind up. <laughs> well, I. Um I believe this country is on a trajectory that is incredible. Wow. I think that um, the, the natural landscape is, is amazing with all the hills, the beauty, uh, as Jack mentioned, the climate, the ability uh, to grow so many different kinds of plants here. Um, it isn't just that, it's the people here. Uh, again, we came eight years ago and we fell in love with the people here and this country. And I think we feel um, like we want to be a part of what's happening here um, to raise uh, awareness, to um, promote opportunities, and to, um, I don't know, to love people here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, ladies, ladies are really take care of their homes. Mm -hmm. mm, really, ladies take care of their homes, just like in Rwanda. Mm -hmm. uh, how should a lady really uh, take care of his garden in the backyard? Mm -hmm. uh, you see, earlier you talked about irrigating. Mm -hmm. uh, people don't know the techniques of irrigating. Just a little hint to the ladies who are really watching us right now. Uh, how do they really take care of their backyards? Well, I've noticed that people do take care of their homes inside, but I would say take care of your home outside mm. and take the time to learn and maybe um, ask for help, you know, that it's worth it because it's your environment, you're there, and you're to enjoy it and the beauty because there is so much beauty here and there's so many different plants. Yes, uh, we are winding up. Uh, and as an architect, uh, what, what, what would you tell that young generation inspired in being an architect, in an landscaping architect? Is it really uh, this kind of job that will make their future look bright? Absolutely. Um, I would say that we have an immense, an immense potential um, in Rwanda. And when, not just in Rwanda, because we can even go uh, East Africa in the region. And on the last Thursday, or last Thursday, we had um, a CPD, that is a Continuous Professional Development Seminar at Serena, um, for all architects. Um, this coming week, on uh, 24th, there is an East African uh, seminar in Kampala for the East African architects and landscape architects. So um, I would say that there is an immense potential. If someone feels like they have the passion, uh, to pursue uh, this profession, the, the opportunities are there. The opportunities are there, and um, there are so many things that you can do with it. Um, like you can see, um, um, some people just do designs. Like um, Kakude saying, um, yeah, like Kakude and Donna are saying about 
uh, a garden center with you know all these things uh, and and different kind of things that you can do with it so um, if someone feels like um, they have the passion to do it um, why not go for it and another thing uh, just research on it because there is a lot of misconception and people do not really know what it involves yeah yeah uh, it's doable yeah you if if you invest in it and you have passion in it you can go for it yes arakoze cyane mr mungu nari ndi mumubaza kubijyanye n'ukuntu abana bakiri bato biyumva mu impano esaka nakazi gashobora guhindura ubuzima bwabo abisobanuye neza cyane ati niba wumva ufite impano cyangwa ubikunze ku mutima go for it amahirwe ni menshi cyane amahirwe ni menshi cyane umuntu vise ko umugabo yatubwiye ko kera muri za 1800 Mm, ye akibitangira za 1985 amadorari agati ya magana tatu n'ibumbi bitatu niyo yacaga ubusa rimurangaye eh ariko ubwo ni kubantu banini nabantu batoya agenda afite ibiciro biri hagata aho ngaho muri make kadusore za ngaha kuri abatumirwa bacu eh ndabashimiye abatumirwa twabanye muri iki gice cyacu hanyuma turaje tujye muri lunch time sports update abari amakuru y'imikino mu buryo bw'incha make thank you for being here Mr. Kak Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Madam Donna. And thank you, thank Mr. Mugo. Yes, it's been a pleasure having you on this show. I hope you come any other time apart from today. Welcome, feel at home. Yes, we can ambassadors in our career in both and you want to go to Kemukanya to watch your sad and man and we launch time sports updates. I'm a queen with you. We're going to be here in the sports arena.